welcome to my master class visual thinking er visual doing for those who think they cannot draw i am tridip ghosh and i am a certified design thinking practitioner a visual storyteller and instagrammer a youtuber and international recognized artist and an amazon best seller author i already have a video series on youtube on visual thinking for those who say they cannot draw with this master class i will take you through a wonderful journey where not only you will think visually but you will also do things visually and after completing the course you can fluently express your ideas as simple illustrations for which you yourself will be proud of as children we used to draw non stop sometimes on our walls on our breakfast tables on the paper napkins and sometimes even we used to scribble naughty drawings about our teachers and friends on the blackboards to embarrass them haven't we all done that well at least some of you must admit while mugging up important notes we used to organize each and every point as mind maps and imagery why because This used to give us the pointers if we forget to mug up in the exam hall. But what happened when we grew up? We all wanted to be Picasso, Da Vinci, or a Michelangelo with our drawings. And when we found we were no way near to the masters, we all stopped trying. Even stopped scribbling on papers. We started giving the reasons to ourselves: drawing is not for grown-ups. drawing takes too much time they won't understand my drawing or i am not creative and what happened in that we not only forgot to draw simple things but we also forgot to imagine to convey our big ideas in the board room or in front of a business investor while conducting workshops at various colleges education institutes or organizations i have come to hear several times that i cannot draw i have also noticed that various wonderful ideas didn't materialize or didn't get funding purely because the investors or the board members couldn't visualize the idea in totality it's sad isn't it but the good news is that we all can draw in our subconscious mind it is not about the quality of the drawing that we are talking over here it is connecting with each other through your drawings putting your message across the table ever wondered how cavemen used to communicate without being able to speak that's the power of image after all imagination has the word image in it how many of you would dare to draw with me i will break the chapters as per small topic chunks let's start with small things since we all love text we will start with the three alphabets of english language a b and c and in the process we'll also use some other alphabets but i will only restrict myself to alphabets are you game in the next chapter we will loosen up a bit more and we we'll learn the seven building block shapes in the third chapter i will show you how to draw easy faces with minimum strokes in the next chapter we will learn to create some objects using the building block shapes in the fifth chapter we will learn to draw various icons and metaphors using simple shapes so since by now we all have become semi picassos and van goghs we will jump into something which will make you more confident we will draw some characters well brilliant people the last chapter that is the seventh chapter will be a bonus chapter where we will extend our learning to create some inspirational posters images do not only make ideas stand out they also 
help us to memorize points much faster and in effective way i will leave with this thought for some time till we meet again in our next master class till then goodbye and thank you for watching